Hey everyone, Renee here. I've got new sunscreen reviews for you. These are my favorites of all the ones I've tried in the last year. And I really do try a lot of sunscreens. It's probably the category that I test out more than any other category in skincare. So you can find that most of these are from outside the US. I've always had a preference for non-US sunscreens because I kind of grew up with them. I also really love some of the UV filters that are being used outside of the US for just how much more advanced they are. They're newer, they're more advanced, less sensitizing, um, but also more powerful in lesser quantity. I will always list all the filters used when I talk about sunscreens. And if you are interested in learning more about them and just geeking out a little bit, then I am going to link a glossary of um, the filters that I talk about the most um, in the description box down below, as well as a playlist of all the other sunscreens, my favorite sunscreens that I have talked about in the past. My reviews for my favorite 100% mineral sunscreens will be coming up next. I get to talk about a reformulation of a consistent favorite of mine, and that is Anessa's Perfect UV Sunscreen Mild Milk for Sensitive Skin. This has an SPF of 50 plus and a PA of four pluses. This is their latest 2021 version. It's peach with a gold top, whereas the older version is peach with the white top. So what I've always loved about the mild milk is that it can be used on very sensitive skin and on children and infants. Um, you know, it's hard to find, especially back in the day, it was hard to find Japanese sunscreens that didn't contain a lot of alcohol or fragrance. This has neither. But the application, in my opinion, is not compromised. Um, I think if you're someone who has oily skin, you may not love the way it applies at first because it has a little bit of that oily feel to it, which I think actually just really helps with the spreadability, which is so important with sunscreen. But I find that once it dries down, it dries down. There's no longer the greasiness or anything like that. It reminds me a lot of the way um, the Murad City skin applies as well but it also has that clinginess on the skin because it is so water and sweat resistant. In fact, it gets more protective and more powerful if you sweat or if it comes in contact with water. It's part of that whole Shiseido technology, like their wet force technology in the States. Yeah. So this has always had a mixture of the mineral and chemical filters. So this has the zinc and titanium dioxide, as well as the powerful organic filters as well. So the difference with this new formulation is now it has an even better smooth and protect technology, which is all about um, bettering the dispersion of filters in the formula. And when it comes to sunscreen formulas, you know, dispersion of filters is pretty much everything. You know, you can have a sunscreen that can have like 30% zinc oxide, but if it's not well dispersed, then it's not gonna protect you as well as a formula that may have 8% zinc oxide, high quality zinc oxide that is really, really well dispersed in a formula. If you have very oily skin or you live in a humid tropical climate and you just don't like the application that feels kind of oily or, or um, doesn't dry down quickly, then you may wanna just try the non-mild milk version. Those were my go-tos before I discovered the mild milk and look how cute the packaging is. A new one I've been loving so much is this one from Isden, their Age Repair Fusion Water. To be honest, my skin has not gotten on well with Isden's US sunscreens, especially the mineral sunscreen, which actually made my skin burn until I removed it. And it did make me very hesitant to try more from Isden until um, I was told about this one. Obviously, this is the one that is not available in the US, but this one is fabulous. Texturally, it's like a burst of hydration on your skin. It's watery, it's thin, it dries down fast. There's no drying alcohols again. Um, there's no oils in it. So it's not, it's just not heavy. It's not greasy. It just kind of dries down and it's beautiful. I also love that this is something that you can use around your eye area as well but it's also full of like powerful antioxidants, CoQ10, as well as, you know, collagen supportive and boosting peptides. If you want more out of your sunscreen, you want that whole well aging element as well, then this is a really good one. For outside of the US, Garnier has always had for a very long time, just really, really good sunscreens, especially their Ombre Soleil collection, you know, is so good. So for those of you with very oily skin types and this one, Garnier's Ombre Soleil, their Super UV Anti-Pollution Fluid with an SPF of 50 plus, a UVA with a circle rating um, protection, UVB protection, and UVA long ray protection as well. This to me is about as close as it gets to Anthelios's Shaka fluid. This is the same feel, it works the same way, same filters, but yeah. This is a completely weightless, watery milk consistency. It just kind of 
this feels like nothing on the skin, but definitely is more on the dry, balancing and dry touch side. And of course, just really, really good protection all around. A new sunscreen I've been loving, which is available in the US, probably the only one in this entire group, is this new one from SkinCeuticals, the Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen with a broad spectrum of SPF 30. So this is an organic sunscreen and contains all the typical US chemical filters. But what I really, really love about this formula is it's actually like a, a skin evening, brightening skin tone treatment as well. I find this to be really flattering on the complexion. It really leaves a beautiful radiance, which, you know, I love. Um, and it's great under makeup as well. It's very lightweight. But I love that this has a lot of really great sort of skin brightening ingredients in it. Like it has 2% niacinamide. It's got 1% tranexamic acid in it. Um, there's also resorcinol, which is great for hyperpigmentation. These are also ingredients that you can find in their discoloration defense, which, you know, I, I really love as well. In fact, if pigmentation is kind of your core focus, then I would say between just in SkinCeuticals alone, in your morning routine using the vitamin C serum, the discoloration defense, and then this is kind of like this really ironclad trio that would really help treat, um, you know, your skin. The texture of this is really hydrating. It actually has 7% glycerin in it without like feeling kind of uh, heavy or sticky the way glycerin can be. In fact, it is about as lightweight um, as, as it can be. In fact, it's quite dry touch as well. Um, and then just leaves kind of a beautiful radiant finish. In fact, it feels kind of smoothing on the skin. Like I said, it works really, really well as a weightless radiant primer. This does have kind of an interesting scent to it um, because it smells like what we expect green beauty to smell like. There's something about it that smells almost like herbal. So staying on the whole pigmentation lane and simultaneously protecting your skin from the sun, but also treating um, existing pigmentation or sunspots. So I've been impressed with HelioCare 360's pigment solution fluid with an SPF of 50 plus and a PA of four pluses. Actually, I tried both of these, the pigment solution fluid and the age active fluid. And the user experience is almost exactly the same, almost, um, but there are small differences. Both of these formulas combine both mineral and chemical UV filters. Um, it comes out with a slight peach tint to it, but it doesn't show up on your skin at all. It does just blend out. There is no white cast on me whatsoever. It also dries down so fast. It dries down and leaves a, a dry touch finish. So it is, it is weightless and you know, there is no cast. The other thing I love about this is it is ophthalmologist tested for safety around the eye area. So it's also dermatologist tested, but this is safe to use around your eyes. You won't feel discomfort. There's no stinging. You know, that's always a great thing, but also it does have a nice primer like finish as well. It does, especially with the age active fluid. The age active fluid has a slight blurring effect on your skin, kind of smooths everything out. But the reason why I tend to favor the pigment solution, it's just a personal thing because I just love that there is a good amount of niacinamide in this. There's also also vitamin C, vitamin E, and ellagic acid, I think, which has been um, studied to treat melasma. But yeah, so I just love the ingredients in here. By the way, both both formulas have urea, you know, they're hydrating, um, you know, just great for the, I, I just love the formulas. There is a bit of a scent to it. I mean, if you're familiar with HelioCare sunscreens, then it's the same that is in pretty much all their sunscreens. The one from Bioderma, I just love bioderma sunscreens. I love trying them. I will try them all. This is one that's new to me that I really like. It's their Pigment Bio Daily Care SPF 50 Plus. Again, this is more than just a sunscreen. It is a treatment as well. But what I love about it is it also imparts this beautiful radiance on the skin. So when you use it, it's just really, really flattering. At least it's flattering on me. But I love that this contains azelaic acid as well as niacinamide. It also has vitamin C derivatives in it. There's licorice root and another ingredient called glabridin, which is great for just evening out the skin tone and fading hyperpigmentation. But you know, all these ingredients are just great for just fading red spots. I also feel that this is lightly moisturizing more so than maybe some of the other treatments. So this has a slight scent to it. Another all time favorite sunscreen brand that I have not shut up about since like 
years ago when I first discovered it is EV Technology. And this is the new one I've been using. I feel like every single year I'm discovering a new one that I'm just loving even more, um, if that's even possible. So um, this year I've been using their Sunscreen Mousse 50 for children. You're getting super high protection with this UVA, UVB ratings, as well as the five star boots ratings. I mean, I've spoken about one of their sunscreens every single year um, for the past few years. And the fundamentals are exactly the same. What's what really stands out um, is the patent for how water resistant it is, which is why this is something that is used by Olympic athletes, Olympic swimmers, just athletes in general, because it has such staying power because of its ability to grip and be water resistant. This can be used head to toe, even on the eyelids. It's safe for the eyes. It doesn't sting my eyes, um, which is a great thing. So I never thought about using the children's one for myself until a friend of mine was raving about it. And they actually said that they, they preferred this formula um, above and beyond all the other ones. And so that had me really intrigued. This friend of mine also has normal to oily skin. So he particularly loved the lightness of it, but also it was slightly mattifying as well. So it would give um, a velvet matte finish on the skin. Because this is for children, this really is their simplest formula for the most sensitive skins. I mean, all of them are for very, very sensitive skin, but even beyond that, this is simple. It definitely is more mattifying. So for those with oilier skin types that may not do so well with um, their other formulas or feel that it's just too heavy, then this is a way lighter version. While their other formulas actually feel really nourishing on the skin and also quite moisturizing. In fact, a lot of times I do use them as a moisturizer as well because they're moisturizing. This is really just a sunscreen. Ultra Sun, I love their sunscreens. And this new one that I've been really enjoying is their tinted face fluid in honey. This has an SPF of 50 plus, UVB, UVA in a circle, and a PA of four pluses. Ultra Sun's sunscreens are very powerful. They're very protective and they're very, they really stay on the skin. They're resistant and it's the kind, um, obviously that is, it takes a bit more effort to remove. This is very lightweight. It's very milky liquidy and it's got a very sheer tint. So what it does for me is it just gives my skin a bit of that kind of bronze glow to it. It's just um, a little bit of color that is flattering, um, that doesn't you know, make me look like I've been in a cave for the past year, which I feel like I have been. It's so blendable and on me, it's just really flattering. Again, I think the only ones who may have an issue with this is if you are pale. Um, if your skin is very pale and this may show up too much, this has no scent to it. It's fragrance free. It also has some really nice antioxidants in it. There's CoQ10, there's vitamin E, but there's also THD ascorbate, which is um, a great vitamin C derivative. And it's also, you know, quite effective at evening the skin tone as well. So that's it, everyone. I think there was something for everyone in there. Stay tuned because I'm going to have my favorite all mineral sunscreens coming up next. And um, yeah, I hope you found that helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And until until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.